Hey everyone, I just wanted to give an overview of some of the stuff I've been working on recently. I got really frustrated with not being able to properly preview, edit, and reposition effects for new weapons that I was creating. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and revamped how my model viewer works. Uh, structurally very similar to what it was before, except now that there's a, a nice node view and you can go ahead and modify things. So for example, you can modify how all the blend mode works. That is uh, similar to how it would work in Conquer. It's not 100% accurate just due to the fact that I'm not uh, exactly familiar with doing things like pixel shaders and stuff like that. But you can do scaling, you can do positioning, you can do rotations. It all works properly. Uh, there's, there's no issues with that. As you can see here, that goes ahead and resizes as you want it to. And you can go ahead and attach a new effect. So let's say I wanted to say, hey, let's preview this with a actual weapon that it's supposed to go on. So we would just go ahead into our mesh folder and we go ahead and add it. As you can see here, there is some issues with how it's blended together. Uh, and as I said, that's just due to, I don't do pixel shaders and uh, this effect in particular doesn't have any alpha data. So it's not like I can do proper alpha blending. Uh, it's just sort of mimicking it using additive. And as you can see here, we could go ahead and uh, rotate this. We could rotate 90 degrees, for example. Apparently I did that 180. Either way, you get the idea. Uh, so it is rotating. You can do all of its uh, positioning and scaling and anything that you want. Once you're done, you can go ahead and uh, export it back out to the C3 file format and you can go ahead and load it up in game, make it sure, making sure that it works properly. The nice thing about this is that you can just keep layering on new effects and reposition those effects and then only export that effect. That's the biggest thing for me is that uh, there might be, for example, I, I might not want all of these four different sides of this effect, so I would just go ahead and delete them so that there's, let's say, only one left, and then I would go ahead and export that. Those are all logically grouped because they are part of the same uh, mesh. In this case, we're just viewing it as a game object. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Hopefully this will be somewhat useful in the next few weeks as I start to add more content, but if not, it was still a good learning experience. Thanks for watching.